everyone and welcome back to my channel. I got loads of mail and I have some things I want to update you on, some packages and things that I actually received already that I have not yet shown you. And you guys seemed to really really like my haul videos and my unboxing video so I thought I might as well just make another one with the other stuff that I have here today. I did get an a couple extra things that are in here that I have not yet shown you from my last vintage unboxing haul which if you haven't seen that yet the link will be up here somewhere up on the top somewhere if you guys want to check that out another package from Best of my cosmetics and I have another package and this one is from Etsy okay so to start things off I'm going to pretty much finish up showing you I don't remember if I showed you guys but I bought these are just wet and wild brushes um, very basic brushes um, just so that I could have some nice clean brushes when I was looking at vintage makeup tutorials that were straight from the 1940s and 50s I tried to get things that looked similar in per the brush itself but also something cheap because I wasn't gonna spend two hundred million dollars on it. The spoolie, I think I've already shown you this. Of a eyeliner brush. This one, I'm I'm almost positive I didn't show you this, but I thought it was really cool. This is my lip brush, and it is the coolest thing ever. It did look like this. I don't know if they popped out like this, but they did look like this. I have. This is my lip brush that I got on Etsy. Oh yeah, I dyed my hair, so it like blends in with my hair. <laughs> that one was from the 1940s. I got my Tangy lipstick. As you guys might remember from my other video, this is my Tangy Rouge Compact. I used to use, especially during wartime, when women were part of the army, they had to wear a very natural lip color. It is one of those mood changing lipsticks if you've ever had one of those. I know I did when I was little, I thought they were the coolest thing ever. But essentially, depending on the chemistry of your skin, um, it will change to a more natural color. On me it's a little bit more pink, but I'll be using this in my real time 1940s uh, makeup tutorial. So in my last video, I showed you that I got the brown mascara my friend actually gifted me with the black one, my black cake pan mascara slash eyeliner. I actually had to fight for these next four items. This is a Evening in Paris Rouge Compact. This one's cool because it actually has a button to open it up, it doesn't like don't have to like stick your finger up in there but this one is a used compact but it is a really pretty color then i have this one from barbara gold this is another cute little compact this is another rouge this one's a little bit more beat up but i like it because it has that cute little charm to it it's very you could tell that it is vintage this hollywood brand um, this brand actually you see more in the 50s. It's a Hollywood compact in the color raspberry. And then last but not least, this, this was so hard to find. Um, it is not a rouge, it is a eyeshadow or eye cream from Maybelline. So Maybelline has been around for years and years and years and years and years. And it is almost impossible to find Maybelline eyeshadows from the 1940s. Maybelline and Max Factor vintage items are really, really hard to come by. So I was really excited when I found this. So this is my Maybelline eyeshadow. <gasps> I wanted to focus. Doesn't matter because it's the same as this poster. I found from the 1940s but it looks like it's green um on the camera it looks a little more blue it is a little blue green i can't really do too much to it i rub on it and literally nothing comes off i've tried wetting it and rubbing it 
It kind of smells like crayons a little bit. But what I thought was interesting, if any of you guys are into vintage taboo, there is a fingerprint on here, which is pretty interesting, and it's caked on there. Like, I can't even rub it off if I wanted to. I went ahead and I bought a Maybelline eyeshadow in the color Made for Mocha. That is the color of this shadow. It is pretty much like the go-to color for eyeshadow back then. Browns, grays, and blues were you were good, as long as you were using those. I don't know if I showed you this, so I'm gonna add this in here just in case, but I got Vanishing Cream. This is from LBCC Historical Apothecary. You can find them on Etsy, and I'm going to leave a link for them below, because you can buy a whole bunch of stuff from them. If you remember from my last video, I bought my Pond's Cold Cream container. They sell cold cream there as well, Vanishing Cream. Vanishing Cream is going to kind of be like a primer. It smells clean. It smells almost floral. I have also purchased Pons, also used to sell their own vanishing cream, as you can see here. What I've done was, they no longer call it vanishing cream, it's just deep moisturizing cream. So I actually have it in my bathroom right now, but I have purchased both Pons Cold Cream which is another video that you can go check out, which will be up here. But I also bought the moisturizer as well, or the vanishing cream. And I've been using that and it's kind of amazing. So as you can see, my skin looks really stinking good ever since I <laughs> have been experimenting with all of this vintage skincare. Before I get into opening up the boxes, the last other thing that I have received is uh, this Max Factor pan stick. Basically what this is, Max Factor was a really, really, really big, big brand back then as well, especially in the Hollywood industry. They used to use like pancake makeup, which was like a little dish, and you would put water on it and you put it on your face, especially in films. If you try to find a vintage pancake makeup, it is really expensive. This is not vintage, by the way. This is, um, I wanted to be able to put this on my face and know my face wasn't gonna fall off or peel off or burn off. Um, so I bought this on eBay, on Amazon, I don't remember. But um, they used to use stick foundation as well, so you would just rub this on your face. But yeah, they would use the stick, they would use powder, and they would use the pancake stuff. Very rarely did you hear about liquid foundation, but they did use that as well. Hey. How's it going? Your eyeliner is flaky. Thanks. <laughs> so now, we'll leave the best made for last. We are opening the box. Wow, that smells old. <laughs> box is open. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh! Wow, that's heavy. So, oh, no, there's shoulder pads. I have this really cute cardigan that I have. It is a nice light pink. It is really heavy. It is from the American line. Don't know anything about the American line, but it is really cute. As you know, I like big buttons, so I do have big buttons here. Um, yeah, this is a cute little cardigan that you could pretty much match up with everything. Every really is actually from the 80s. Um, it is a windbreaker from Athletic Works. So here is the jacket. Um, if you watch My Hero Academia, it is very Bakugo. The jacket, it is cinched at the bottom. It's really cool, it's nice and elastic. So yeah, I hope he's happy with that. <laughs> It has shoulder pads on the inside, so I hope I hope he likes shoulder pads because I don't like shoulder pads. This one, this one is for me. This is from Express. It is a '80s sweater. Um, it is. I just really loved this color. If any of you guys know me, like teal, aqua, mint, those are my favorite colors. So. This is what the arm looks like. It's very simple, but I thought it was cute. It's just a sweater. 
Um, very basic, but it's pretty darn cute, and it is straight from the 80s, and we love that. We love, we love vintage clothing. So I'm actually really, really, really excited about this. Um, a good friend of mine helped me obtain this, and um, if any of you guys know or follow Besame, know anything about Besame Cosmetics, Besame, um, they actually just released a I Love Lucy line, and that's what this is, so I'm really excited. I got the package with everything, so I have a few extra goodies in here that you wouldn't normally get. So this is how it comes. I'm excited. I'm, so excited. I'm really happy about this. As soon as it launched, really, I went out and I got it. It came with a tote bag. You can't buy the tote bag anywhere else. Um, it's really cute. It's not the best material, but it's kind of like, what's it called? When you buy um, reusable bags at the grocery store, it's that kind of material. But this is gonna be really nice if I just wanna take out a few makeup things and film somewhere else, you know, go to a friend's house and film or do something. This is a cute little bag that will fit pretty much everything. Um, it does say I Love Lucy on it and on the back it says Besame um, by Gabriela Hernandez. I love her so much. For those of you that don't know, I love, I love Lucille Ball. Hence one of the reasons I, I love being a ginger. Granted, my hair is not as uh, vibrant as hers is, but she is definitely one of the reasons that I wanted to go ginger. <laughs> the packaging is so cute! Another exclusive item that you get when you buy the package is some Lucy lashes. Oh my gosh, and they're brown, so they're almost, or they're not brown. They're gorgeous. Well, they're, they are like a, a gingery brown, so they're very natural looking, which is gorgeous. That is so soft. Um, this is what her lashes look like. If you were to see any photos of her getting all glammed up, she has very long, very straight eyelashes. So. Besame Cosmetics actually had someone draw the art for the Lucy products and that is brilliant. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is the lipstick. This one is called Love That Redhead. The lipstick. The bullet lipstick. It's gorgeous. It has little rhinestones on it. It says Love Lucy on here. You can't really see it but it is um the cool signature, Love Lucy. Besame has little rhinestones on it as well. This is beautiful. Oh yes, oh yes. And it is that wonderful red. It actually matches my nails. Oh, it says I love Lucy on here too. So excited. Other lipstick, this one is called What a Peach. That's gorgeous. It's almost like a muted coral color. I know my grandmother loves very, very much. I'm really excited about this because this is kind of like a nice everyday color um, that you can wear anywhere. So yeah, there's, there's that one. I'm so happy. So we have Lucy's pencil set. This one is the eyeliner pencil in brown, which is pretty nice. That's really, really, really nice. This one is the Precision Lip Liner Pencil. This is gorgeous. And then we have the Soft Eyeliner Pencil, so this one must be the white one. So we have the white. Already, we're gonna, we're gonna test the, I pushed a little too hard, we're gonna test the keychain guy now too. It's so cute, yes! It says, I love Lucy on the front. Let's see, can you open it up, Lucy? Yes, so it opens up, you have the sharpener in here, which is really nice. I hate when I want to use an eyeliner or a lip pencil. I'm gonna have to sit over a trash can. So let's fix what I messed up. Let's see how well the sharpens. Okay, okay, we gotta do some work. 
yeah so it looks pretty much the same which is really nice because mine would have like two ends it would have a fat end and a skinny end and the skinny end made it look like a pencil and the fat end made it very short and round this one is perfect so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the lipsticks this one is the peach the what a peach that's beautiful Happy, I'm so happy. Love that redhead. I'm excited about this one, to be honest. I should put it up here. That is a beautiful color. These are all beautiful, beautiful colors. See how I was saying that this... Mmm, and it smells like vanilla. <laughs> this one is more of that bright red, very much like my nail polish. And this one is a more natural tone that you can wear pretty much every day. I could put it on right now if I wanted to. Lucy's face powder compact. Okay, so let me let me show you how gorgeous this is. This packaging is everything, everything, everything. That is beautiful. The compact. You can see everything. It's so super shiny. <gasps> hey. So there is that shade. Um, it is a nice translucent powder. It does come with its own little brush. This one is a lot larger than the um, loose powder that I showed you in my last video um, but it does come with its own little sponge and yeah it's just a nice translucent powder I you can't even see it on the camera gorgeous darling gorgeous beautiful absolutely beautiful last but not least we have the eyeshadow I'm so excited about this because Besame, um, besides its collections like this, they don't sell eyeshadow and I know looking for the Maybelline stuff for the video was really hard. It's called Club Babalu, just like in the show. Ricky Ricardo's Club Babalu. This is beautiful by the way, gorgeous. I love this. I love the little retro, nice 50s look. Let's, let's open it together, guys. That's beautiful. And look at these colors. Look at these colors, y'all. This is Lucy's favorite color. It is Lucy's Lilac. Um, but pretty much everything on this side, maybe including that one, this is all you need for 1940s makeup. But then you go over here, you come over here, and then you got 1950s makeup. A little bit of everything. So we're going to just swatch these. So this is Tropicana Hoop, which is this one. Band Leader Brown. There we go. That is Mertz Mauve. I always have a hard time saying this name. McGillicuddy Roots. It's very light, very faint. So that is going to be a very nice base color. The next one is Salesman Blue. That is absolutely beautiful. I will definitely be using that one. The next one is Babalu. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ricardo Rosé has a little bit of shimmer in it too. So, oh no, it's, I don't know. It is a pretty color though. I really, really like that color. Last but not least, Lucy's Lilac. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those colors, man. You got the dark ones over here, and you have the nice pretty light ones here. It does come with a pretty little shadow brush. So that is it. That is the end of this video. I'm so excited now that I have absolutely everything that I need. I can get to making some video content for you guys. Thank you, Besame Cosmetics as well as both of the Etsy shops that let me shop at their shops. Their links are going to be down below, including Besame Cosmetics. If you want to get some of the Lucy products, you're more than welcome to do so. Their lipsticks run very, very quick. So if you want to get any of these products, you are more than welcome to. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, always vintage style and never vintage morals.